Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Revit Cell, we want to take a look at the level views. So when you export your Revit model, comes into Revit Cell with all the data or all the elevation or level. And in Revit Cell, we want to show you how quickly you can set views for each level or data that are coming from Revit Cell. This is a great way to save time create all the views accurately and also it's going to match the architectural model or if you want to do it based on your structural model it's going to match your structural model and everything is going to be set in the viewpoints this is a very useful and fast way and this is one of my favorite let's jump into revit so i can show you guys but make sure you subscribe and leave a like in today's episode learning revit so we want to take a look at a very good feature that Rovetso has and that's creating level view so basically we're gonna follow a very quick workflow to create view for every single level that is available in your model so if you guys work with a different platform such as Navis if you want to create a viewpoint for the levels for your coordination if you want to go from level one to two so you need to create those manually and you're going to use the selection, um, basically the cut section tool, just move it up and down and then fix it the way that you like to see basically a little bit, um, you know, under the slab. So you can see that, let's say level one's overhead, you go a little bit below level two slab to see the level one's overhead and you save that viewpoint and your coordination meeting you can go from one location to another location, right? A level to level. But here it's a good feature that it can help you achieve that very fast so in order to do that you will make sure you want a 3d you can do, go to this corner which is a viewpoint so for the viewpoint uh there's going to be a three dot right here at this corner so when you click on the three dots it's going to give you three options so the first two is kind of grayed out because one is going to set the home viewpoints the other one if you have any viewpoints you want to delete but this is the one that we're going to work with it today so this one basically when you click on it it's going to create a viewpoint per level so when you click on this it's going to open up a box for you this box uh talking about the section box viewpoint per level so what it does you basically the first box right here um you telling uh the actual rabbit cell what model you want to get the levels from so for this i this project i uh, basically published architectural model with the two links model which is the facade and site so if i want to create let's say a level for facade you guys can take a look at it the level is a little bit different than what i have in my architectural model so it's even more so just want to make sure the first one that you guys select and if i select the site it only has three levels right so just make sure this is a very important step what model do you want to get your elevations from and always i would go for architectural i'm going to avoid structural any other models if i have a main architectural model and then if there is a exterior or interior like a ti model go for the ti basically see which one defines the floors and elevation select that model so right here i'm going to select this model this is where i'm getting my all the elevation in the models from so and i'm going to do the coordination for the level of parking level one you know these different blocks which is going to be different elevation and then go like all the way up to the roof the next drop down it's going to be the horizontal size as the section box so it basically what it does with it so it creates a section box around a model for you which includes that level so if i want to tell them all the models so if i select this it's going to in include all these models that you guys see in the background if i want to say only do the architectural so it's going to cut it around all of these and only shows me these architectural model right so this is again this is another set that you need to define before creating the elevation what do you want to see if you let's say 
on underground for sure you want to say all the models because you want to say everything below and on the sides for your coordination but if you're going up the building um probably you don't need any of this right you only need this one so you can create a different viewpoint for this but what i would recommend always select all for this so basically you can see everything inside the model so basically it's gonna give you a section for everything inside the model and the next one right here it basically you telling revit so where you want to cut that level from the top of it and from the bottom of it right so let's say the section top offset i leave it at zero which is going to show me the floor or, or the slab from the level above and the slab from the level below right so i'm not going to see let's say level two overhead i only see level three slab so we're going to go for this so you guys can kind of see the difference and then right here is going to tell me um, 17 viewpoints will be created, which is all 17 levels. And all of these going to be in this, going to create a folder uh, with this name, Snow, uh, Snow Dawn Tower Sample Architectural. So it's going to create a view for that. So well, I'm going to just hit it. So I didn't do anything right now. I'm just going to hit it. There you go. Like in a second, it's going to cut that and create all of these levels for me. And you guys can see the section box that I was talking about. And the section box that we have, let me just get a little bit closer so you guys will be able to see what I was talking about. So this is right now because I defined the selection box, go all around the side, all the models. Right now, the selection box include everything in that model if i selected architectural only i had the selection box around the architectural one right and then let's say if you want to go to level two same thing level three level four so you guys can see how fast these are is going to be created and you notice it basically cut it um let me see just go to let's say parking one and you can see the cut it at the zero and zero so basically you see the slab and the bottom all of the slab on top for the upper floor so i'm gonna go on this one and just hit delete and then i'm gonna delete it so i'm gonna go and create another one right now and just change it a bit so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna do architectural model i'm gonna select again architectural model so i don't need any other stuff around it i only need this one and for the top i just want to have um let's say two foot below the level each level slab so i just wanted to minus two right so i'm gonna hit create right now so you guys can see the box is basically smaller only around the architectural model so i have all the stuff and right now the parking if you remember we had an upper uh different level slab on and then right now it's just basically nothing right it's basically cut two feet below the upper levels floor in order to see this so i would kind of show this to you guys and i thought it's going to be a great way to create these viewpoints very fast and you basically can start your coordination and everything is going to be set based on the level the elevation would be accurate is going to match the actual revit model for each elevation at each level and also you can identify the section box around the area that you want to create for your coordination and again you can have different uh, folders so if i want to have this folder i'm gonna change it to say like an arc box so i know let's say this one i have the architectural box around it and i want to create another one i want to say all for now so and then i'm going to do another viewpoint it's going to create another one for me which is going to be right here we talked about and it has a bigger area because i included the site one caveat if you guys do not change the name of here and i keep adding it's going to replace this folder with the viewpoint so if you want to if you want to have a different elevation viewpoints in a different folder like this one i want to have the box around just the architectural so i got to make sure i change this folder name because if i don't change it basically when you keep creating these viewpoints because this is going to be the model this is going to be the default 
and it will re replace all of this so make sure the viewpoints or elevation views that you are creating has a different name for the folder so it's not going to get replaced with the like another one that you want to create and another view that you want to say hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching